Hello friends, in this video we will be making chevrel salt and demonstrating one of its most important chemical property. Chevrel salt is a peculiar salt of copper characterized by its ability to show reactions in both plus 1 and plus 2 oxidation states. For preparing this salt we need 2.4 grams of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate and 2 grams of sodium metabisulfite. I have 2.4 grams of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate pre-weighed and placed in this 50 milliliter beaker. In the other beaker I have 2 grams of sodium metabisulfite. Copper 2 sulfate is easily obtained as it is sold as a weedicide and sodium metabisulfite can be purchased online. Check out eBay or Amazon. Into the copper 2 sulfate Add 25 milliliters of distilled water and mix it well. We get a nice blue color solution on mixing the copper to sulfate. Now we add 10 milliliters of distilled water into the sodium metabisulfite and dissolve that too. We are actually using a very small scale for this reaction. If the smell of sulfur dioxide seems disagreeable, do it in a fume hood or outside. Now we mix the both solutions by adding the sodium metabisulfite into the copper sulfate. Immediately you see a color change from blue to the beautiful emerald green color. This color is thought to be formed due to combination of two colors. The copper 2 plus ions give, giving a blue color and the soluble copper complex formed which has a yellow color to it. The next step is to heat this solution to boil to get our desired product. After about 10 minutes you can start observing a color change in the solution. The emerald green color has started turning dark. Stir occasionally to spread the heat evenly and to avoid bumping. The exact mechanism is unknown but it is said to occur in multiple steps. The sodium metabisulfite is first decomposed by heat to form sodium sulfite and sulfur dioxide. Then the sodium sulfite reacts with copper 2 sulfate to form copper 2 sulfite and sodium sulfate. The sulfur dioxide then reacts with copper 2 sulfite to form copper 1 sulfite and sulfur trioxide. As soon as a molecule of copper 1 sulfite is formed, a molecule of copper 2 sulfite avidly binds to it to form copper 1 2 sulfite that is the chevrel salt. After allowing the solution to cool, we have filtered the solution using gravity filtration and here you can see the beautiful brick red colored chevrel salt. After drying the chevrel salt, this is what we get. Now we do some simple tests to show the important chemical property of this compound. That is the existence of both plus 1 and plus 2 oxidation state in the same compound. The first test is the reaction with ammonium hydroxide. Here I have taken 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide and I am adding a small amount of chevrel salt. You can immediately see the color turning deep blue. Here a complex tetraamine copper 2 is formed. This occurs only with copper 2 ions. Ammonia can also form complex with copper 1 but they are colorless. In the second test, I am adding chevrel salt to 5 ml of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. You can see the white precipitate forming. This is copper 1 chloride. A point to be noted is that this test should not be done with concentrated acid because it will form copper 2 chloride also along with the copper 1 chloride forming a green colored solution. Also, if we use increased amount of the acid, the precipitate will get dissolved in it. So that's all in this video. If you loved the content of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.